everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a reverse shell in Node.js with text messaging. So the two things you need are going to have, you need Node.js installed and a Twilio account. Um, Twilio has um, like trial and test accounts. Um, so I'm sure you could do it through one of those for free. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you the code. So this is the code. Um, by the way, this reverse shell isn't 100% practical or useful in a real world scenario, I guess, but it's kind of a fun way to just kind of mess around. So I thought I'd show it. Um, so yeah, so we're creating a express app um, and then we're requiring uh, three main uh, modules, the node, CMD, and Grok and Twilio. Um, so this, these are them. You can kind of read through them. Um, Engrok is going to create a secure tunnel um, to our local host. Um, so we're going to kind of, the whole idea of this is to run a um, local quote web server or server on local host. And then we're going to use Engrok to um, create a tunnel to a URL that's going to give us. And then we're going to configure that URL in our Twilio account. Um, and yeah, you're going to need your SID and your auth token from Twilio here in order to access their API. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're doing here is we're running our server um, on port 7672 on the local host. And then we're telling Engrok which port that is. And it's going to create that secure tunnel for us. Um, that's going to spit out this URL. We're going to take that and we're going to configure that into our Twilio account with this route. So when a text message comes into Twilio, it's going to forward it to that URL and that route. And we're going to receive it here. And we're going to get the body of the message, so our text message. And we're going to send it into this node CMD um, command. And that's going to send it to a, our terminal or our command line, whichever platform you're on it. This code should work on Linux, OS X, or Windows. It shouldn't matter. Um, and then when we send that command to the CMD, it's going to spit out our data, um, whatever command we type. And we're going to take that data, and we're going to create a Twimmel um, response message, which is going to send it, text us back to our phone. Um, and there's a, this is the way you're supposed to construct one. And, I put the link in here so you can follow and read more on, more on it. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, get the server going. Uh, oh yeah, server's running and it should spit out, yeah, this URL. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go into our Twilio account and you're gonna go to, this is the Twilio console, you're gonna go to phone numbers it's going to list your phone numbers and you're going to click on the number you're going to text. And then under messaging and when a message comes in, we're going to say, you know, send on the request to this URL and this route that we set up. It's going to be a git. Um, so we're going to save that. And then so what that's going to do is when a text comes in, it's going to send it here. Um, and then we're going to handle it in here. So now I'll show you on my phone. This is um, using. Oops, here we go. So we'll just try a simple command here for Windows. And it should text us a response back. Yep, there we go. So yeah, it just listed the current um, directory that we're in, that we're running the file from. Um, but I mean, you could also you know, do something like go back. And this should give us, yeah, this is, so this is the one, you know, one directory back, the parent directory. And then uh, we can do something like start up the calculator application. So if we do that, our calculator, yep, yeah, our calculator pops up. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was a fun, kind of a funny way to create a reverse shell and uh, send commands to your phones. Um, so I kind of want to do a series of creative ways to create reverse shells. And um, so if you guys have any ideas or feedback, 
um, let me know. I think the next one I'm going to try is um, kind of with like Google Docs, so the rever the shell's getting its commands from a Google Doc. Um, so I think that's the next one I'm going to try out. So if you guys have any ideas or feedback, let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye.